Safari and Chrome are two of the most widely used browsers on Mac. While Safari comes pre-built on Apple devices, that doesn't mean it's perfect as Chrome is often considered a better option. So, which one should you pick for your Mac? Find out in today's video where we will compare both. This video is sponsored by Ten Studio. Let's begin with the interface first. As you can see, Safari has a pretty minimal and intuitive user interface. Up top, there's a search bar and all the frequently visited sites are at the center of the home screen. Overall experience in Safari is satisfactory and we also like how you can view all the tabs using this four square icon. Chrome has a similar user interface that's easy to get your head around. There's also a menu button to give you quick access to apps like Gmail, Drive, Photos and many more. However, unlike Safari, Chrome shows bookmarks and favicon icons which helps you quickly find the websites you're looking for without reading the text. Besides, Chrome offers more customization options to make it look and feel your own. When it comes to features, Safari naturally integrates with apps like Apple Mail, Apple Calendar and iMessage. There's also an inbuilt reading mode to strip away everything from the page except the article that you're reading. Plus, you can use Apple Pay for online shopping with supported websites. While Chrome does not come with Apple Pay, it has its own Google Pay for a faster payment experience. And if you have a Google account, it will nicely integrate with other devices and Google services. However, Google Chrome's main strength comes from its extensive library of extensions and plugins which can easily outnumber any browser. Now, let's talk about our today's sponsor, Tent Studio, a digital marketing agency that offers branding solutions and necessary marketing materials. Tent Studio's expertise lies in 2D animation, live action explainer videos, motion graphics, product demonstration videos, corporate documentaries, promotional videos, and more. They also offer web development services, ad role placements, blog posts, YouTube channel management, and SEO to ensure your content ranks as high as your dreams. So, if you're having trouble explaining your brand, product, or campaign to others, go and visit Tent Studio right now to make your brand stand out from the rest. Useful features are essential, but so is the performance. We ran Safari and Chrome through different benchmark speed testers like Speedometer, Jetstream 2, and MotionMark. The results work in favor of Chrome as it was the overall winner. But it's worth mentioning that Safari is a far more lightweight browser than Chrome and uses fewer resources. So while Safari is not quite as quick as Chrome, it's more economical for Mac in terms of battery life. In terms of security, both Chrome and Safari use Google's safe browsing service to protect the users against phishing and malware. They also provide password management functionality to warn you if passwords are exposed in a data breach. Despite the similarities, Chrome slightly takes the lead with frequent software updates. On the other hand, Safari's updates are somewhat infrequent. However, privacy is a different story. We all know that Chrome is developed by Google, a company that relies heavily on advertising for revenue. And for that, it keeps track of all the user's data and search results to show relevant ads when they browse the internet. Safari, in contrast, does a lot to protect your privacy. For example, it has a built-in tracker mode to prevent online trackers from profiling you. Considering all, it's fair to say that Safari and Chrome are pretty much neck and neck regarding interface, ease of use, features, and security. But Chrome shines in terms of performance, a vast library of extensions, and seamless integration with the Google ecosystem. Yet, with the growing concern about personal data, Safari might be the right choice for those who value protecting their privacy online. And if you're also tied deeply into Apple's ecosystem, Safari is a no-brainer. So, that was all about today's comparison between Safari and Chrome. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you have a better understanding of which one is best for Mac. If you do, then give this video a thumbs up, 
share it with your friends and let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.